There's another pathway that's been considered respectable and venerable since the time of the sages in Vedic times, and that is the use of entheogens, the, the substance that one can ingest that brings about the presence of God, the God from within. So the ancient Hindu sages used soma. Today you have peyote, mescal, used from the Tarahumara Indians all the way to the Comanche Indians. People have used, not gimmicks, but natural substances to provide a portal to the divine. Is this a bona fide means or is this a crutch? For me it's a bona fide because I have met um, countless people who got their first opening to spirituality through taking marijuana. And uh, that just cannot be denied. Uh, that something can be abused is no reason yeah. for not using it at all. And uh, the cases in which it is abused is, uh, are probably few in comparison to the cases in which it really opens people's minds. And I think most indigenous people that use peyote or mescaline or the m different kinds of mushrooms or whatever, they make an intention when they do this and there's a somewhat of a ceremony or, and they usually don't go to a rock concert. Um, they're out in nature and so, it, yeah, it's part of a ritual. And okay. Jonathan? Many of my colleagues of my generation will admit in private conversations, and I'm doing it now so publicly, that smoking marijuana or hashish for the first time opened, cleared the windows of perception, as Huxley described it, in a remarkable way that um, was, was, was transformative. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I remember I'd just finished doing a course on the art of Picasso in the Hebrew University, which was a wonderful academic. And then I smoked for the first time hashish and saw the pictures. And I said, ah. But I, I didn't use it afterwards because it became, it was a sign, it was a doorway. This way I got there as a free gift, as a tourist. If I want to get there again, it's work, it's self-refinement. Mm -hmm. 